so in this tutorial we're going to carry on from the last one and we're actually going to look at skinning the jawbone. Uh, no changes in this, all I've done is just give the nub bone a name. Um, so let's go on with the skinning. So I'm going to go into skin, click on envelope or alternatively you can click on edit envelopes. And the, the main thing here is that I need to have vertices selected, uh, clicked on. So we've got our jawbone and right now it has very little influence over this. We'll just click that down, you see switch the animation on. Uh, not a great deal is happening. So let's go and start adding some weight to some of these vertices. And doing it with vertices because I think you've got a lot more control over uh, the actual weighting. Envelopes for this kind of thing are a bit where well, you can't really get the uh, the exact weighting you need. Um, so I'm going to ignore the envelope altogether and make it so I can actually click on that. And uh, what we're going to do is deal with vertices. So first of all, just make sure that you haven't got back face curl vertices ticked on, because I want both sides of this head. And also the selection set, I've clicked on the lasso. So I'm just going to go into the um, Alt W, into Zoom Viewport, and I'm just going to start selecting a number of the vertices that I want this to affect. Uh, so that for now. What I'm first of all going to do is just start to take some of these from the inside of the mouth away from this selection. I can maybe keep those. Let's and get rid of that one. And that one, and let's see that one. Um, and that one as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go down to the. Let's dial this back. Uh, go down to the weight properties and the absolute effect, and I'm going to dial this up to one, which is basically 100%. Uh, these vertices are weighted 100% by this jawbone. You can see that if I move this now, we actually get that weighting happening. Now, obviously, that's not right. We need to deal with this. Um, but as a starting point, that's okay. The main problem so far is really in the mouth area around the lips. And this can be a tricky one to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off with the most obvious ones first. So these vertices here need to be weighted in. And let's just bring this down a little bit. Uh, these two here, just any part of the bottom lip really, you just need to bring down. Some of these are going to be trickier than others. So I'm just going between wireframe mode as well, um, just to be able to see some of these a little better. Although sometimes they do seem a little jumbled especially some of these in this area yeah there is a problem with getting the front of the lip let's just get some of these more obvious ones sometimes the more you pull down the easier it is it's to see the uh, ones you do need. Okay, so... So they've got an issue with some of these side bits. And this is, I mean, we can carry on kind of going through and just weight the individual vertices. Um, another thing you could try is actually paint weights. So let's just go into the paint weights tool. On the paint weights itself, we can actually open up a properties box for this and we can change different things. Um, we do have some sh keyboard shortcuts for this as well. So we've actually got two different properties for the paint brush. We've got a size and we've got the strength. Um, 
these are actually on, let me remember this shift control and left mouse button move the mouse we've got the brush size so the radius and uh, shift alt and the same thing left mouse button dragging it out we've got this strength so what can I actually start doing is painting some of these regions uh, that should be affected and there you see we've got that better thing um, so we can also paint in some of these areas so let's just again shift alt I'm just going to take the brush size down a little bit more and I can actually start painting over and get a bit more drag from some of these and what we also might want to do is uh, take some of the weighting away from this as well um, so we can change that to a negative weighting but uh, if I click on the head bone we can start weighting some of these a bit more into where they were before so it's just a case of going through and just dealing with the weighting on all of this sometimes it's quicker to actually go into um, let's just click off my paint weights brush uh, let's just get some of these individually uh, let's maybe just bring these up a little bit Okay. What I'm going to do is grab this side one there, and just in the other corner. And let's just look at the weight on this. Uh, I just want this to be a little bit less. So it's just going around and using these two different things. So say the paintbrush, you can get a bit more subtlety in this. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just click on the jawbone. So I can just go through and paint these different weights in and um, you know, just experiment. Too much of the jaw there you see going down so let's click on the head bomb and let's just take my strength up and shift alt. Start bringing some of this weighting back into the face. So you just carry on, it's a, a solitary process, um, it takes a while to do. Uh, obviously the area around the neck as well, where this is pushing in, you may need to deal with. Uh, there's still areas on the jaw that could uh, do with doing a bit more work on. But if you just use other techniques, um, experiment and just try it out. Okay, just to finish this session off, this is just one that um, I spent some more time waiting. Um, also dealt with the neck as well because obviously that's part of the head so let's just go into the head control so you can see the rotation of the head we've got a nice smooth probably could do with a bit more on the neck on there but we've got a nice smooth um, rotation on that and then also on the jaw we've got a nice weighting on there as well so a nice open mouth shape there which is what you're trying to create um, just to show you the, let's go in, just the click of Turbo Smooth, go back to my skin modifier, uh, just to see the, the kind of weighting I've got on this. So you see a lot in the area in the chin, the bottom lip, uh, getting less and less out into the, the jawbone and the actual cheekbone. And we've got the 
neck sorted a little more, which probably needs a little more work. But you can see the kind of weighting that I've used on this. I've actually done a similar kind of weighting on this on the eyelids as well. Uh, I've used dummy objects, uh, point helpers again, um, just within this. And these actually, when they rotate, are used to control the weighting of the eyelids, so upper and lower. So exactly the same kind of thing, use paint weighting, use absolute weight, um, use the vertices method. Okay, that's that for this tutorial.